Hello, my name is Willi Hüsler. I'm working for Büchel Labortechnik in Switzerland. I'm a product specialist for spray drying. Here we have an S300 mini spray dryer. Uh, it needs some power, but also some uh, pressurized gas. We run the device with about 6.7 to 7 bars of pressure. Within the box, you also have this nozzle, a drying chamber, a flange, a cyclone, a product receiving vessel, a um, temperature outlet sensor, a product temperature sensor or um, a blind plug, an angle tube, then we have the outlet filter and the way back into the instrument. This is kind of a basic version. I already put the instrument on uh, when we can see here on the display that the drying gas is about that 20 cubic meters per hour. We have 150 inlet temperature. We have spray gas at about 1000 liters per hour and pump one is set at 10 milliliters per minute. Uh, the outlet temperature already reached 90 degrees Celsius, so we are in good condition. We now start with pumping the liquid. You see the peristaltic pump is turning on and with this um, valve we can steer between the solvent and the sample. Now you can also see that we have a spray and you can also see that we have a drop of the outlet temperature. You remember before we were at about 90 degrees, now spraying water, the temperature dropped to 60 degrees. We will wait until we have good conditions or stable temperature values when we would switch from the solvent to the sample. This will probably take some two, three minutes. While we are in conditioning, I'll give you some tips and tricks on the device. With the new uh, plugs, uh, fast couplings, just make sure that all the tubes are tightly, neatly into the nozzle as well. Don't forget the screw at the side of the feet so that the tube can't get, go off. When you see such a nice spray cone, you will, you will know that everything is set accordingly. The spray cone can touch the glass wall, it gets wet sometimes, that's not a big thing. It's just happening throughout the production. Make sure all the screws are tightly um, uh, screwed so that we have a good throughput and no uh, inlet from the side in this mode. Also, make sure that all the plugs of the, of the temperature sensors are plugged in, without you wouldn't be able to run the device. In the cyclone, you can see some deposits further, uh, sooner or later, at least when we have the product. It will see, look like dunes which are moving uh, to, the, to, the, to the product receiving vessel. The air then goes up here and you can also have small deposits in the angle piece. The angle piece steers the air then to the outlet filter and goes around at the outer side. Then it has to pass this, this um, deep filter to get to the second tubing and then back to the instrument. Now it's about time to switch from the solvent to the sample. Here, a good thing is, make sure that all the tubes are already filled with liquid, so you don't have a delay in the spray drying process. What you will attempt here, uh, whenever you start um, spraying the sample, the you will have a slightly temperature rise on temperature outlet sensor because the amount of solvent reduces by the time of the feed. That's a little thing you can recognize when you see this temperature rising a bit. You know, okay, my process definitely has started. Now you can see that we already have deposit in the spray dryer. This is my sample getting down to the product receiving vessel. When we need to maintain or change some of the values here, we have this uh, knob to turn the value up or down. 
Now, for example, we are uh, with the screen uh, surrounding square at the drying gas. We press once and you see that now we have the mode that we can enter values. We can also turn the knob, for example, to about 26 and confirm. And now you can even hear that the aspirator is giving higher energy and more air through drying gas through the system. This is possible with all the values um, which are um, choosable here on the screen. Besides this screen, we have also a home screen. Um, then we have um, a so-called method screen. Then we have a job list screen. Then we have the control panel. And we have a report screen at the end. While we are spraying our sample, I'd like, you, I'd like to show you some more of this uh, color screen, color touch screen. I said we can uh, use the knob to steer somewhere. You see, for example, drying gas. I press the knob once, um, we can enter another value again and you will hear immediately the effect. Other screens are some uh, remote monitoring options, setting options. During a spray drying process, it is not possible to access. Then we have instruments, um, settings, uh, locks and about. Uh, we can get out here. Then we have the home screen. We have the methods screen. We have job list screen. And we do have a report screen at the end. While we're still producing, we have a look now on the cyclone and the product receiving vessel. Um, now you see a bit better the collection area. In here we have the cyclone where the air is turning vigorously around and brings down our particles. As you can see, some of the fines are just going into the angle tube and will probably enter the filter where we get rid of these particles more likely. As you can see, our sample is almost finished. We are already uh, sucking some air uh, into the tubing. Now it's a time to switch again from the sample to the solvent. Um, we see immediately a, a, um, a temperature rise because we have the bubbles inside the tubing, but that doesn't matter. Now we are rinsing all the tubes. All our samples uh, need to be sprayed right so that we have the best of a yield. Um, in the course of rinsing, um, we give it another 2-3 minutes uh, to wash the tubes off and then we will start the, uh, the stopping process of the device. We already flushed the tubing quite well. What we do now is uh, in, insert a stopping process. We will stop first the temperature. We give it a little try because we still evaporate the solvent but we will then stop the solvent as well. And now we have to wait until we get the inlet temperature down to about 80 degrees Celsius. This can take quite some minutes again, and we will see each other after we reach 80 degrees. As we reached below 80 degrees, we can now stop the device. Uh, we just press the button at the drying gas, and it will stop immediately. A new menu is opening saying run is finished. Please save your run now. So whenever you would like to keep your run, you have to save it now. The run name at the moment is the date and the time. And we add some an additional comment like, uh, uh, like sample one. and then we save it accordingly. Now the run is stored and we can find it here in the reports area on the top. To unload the sample, you just scratch it off. Regular, normally the sample is very fluffy, powdery, that you can add, have something like that. With this, you then go to further analytics, microscope or uh, moisture scale to see how efficient your drying was.